Welcome back to another installment of Topwater Tuggers. This is me, Dom, and uh, I'm at a new spot, as you can tell. It's called Clamshell Pond, and uh, there was no boat ramp, so I had to lug this monster through all that grass, and my car is parked like, around the corner. So it kind of sucked because I was like, do I do two trips? So the kayak's like 75, and with the equipment in the chairs, it probably makes it 100. And I was like, fuck it, I'll just load it all up. And so, yeah, it was more of a bitch than I thought, but here I am. So hopefully there'll be some fish out here, and uh, I'll be able to do uh, reel them in for you. All right. Oh, that's a nice little bass. Because I don't know if there's any pickerel in here. I'm sure there's a couple, but not like the other place, but should be mostly bass in here. And got our first bite, first taker. Nice little guy, very small actually, but you know, we'll take it, it's a beautiful fish, so. All right, at least we know there's someone here biting. It's a good sign, it's only been like 10, 10 minutes maybe, so. It's hopefully they keep on coming. It's about time, it took about at least an hour for the next bite, but it's another bass, another small bass too, but you know, take what I can get. I switched over to this uh, crankbait as well. And he hit, like, right as I was about to pull it up, too. He hit really close to the kayak, so. He's fearless. And I respect him for that, but it's cost him this time. And this thing is absolutely fucked inside of him. Oh, no. It's like, I'm sure you can see it, but. The whole hook is pretty much in his lip. And it's like you gotta like take apart the fucking take apart the the treble hook in order to get this thing out of him. This is gonna be interesting. I'll let him breathe for a second though. And he's a nice he's small like the other one too. You need to find your parents, big guy. Fuck me. Alright, this is gonna be tricky. I don't wanna just rip his whole lip apart. big hole in his lip. There we go. That's how it got so far in him. Alright. Another little small, small, large mouth, but at least that's the second fish. So, uh, yeah, they're still coming, but I switched to this crankbait, and it's been doing pretty good. Well, it just proved itself right there, to be honest, but I've, uh, researched the the because all I have is like big, fat, chunky crankbaits, but these skinny ones, I guess, do better, so. Let's hope for the best. Oh, yeah, he does look a little bigger. Yeah, he is definitely bigger. Might be even a small mouth, too. Can't tell from here, but I think it is. No, it's not. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, come on, bitch. Let me, let me get in there. This is the shitty part about having two treble hooks is that they all just get stuck in this bitch. Oh no. Oops, I just ripped them apart. Alright, let's look at you some air first. Before I work on that main part. The main lip fucking hook. This thing is in there good though. Okay, here we go. Alright, yeah. He's out now. Let's take a look. A little bigger than the first two, but not like a normal largemouth. He's a little adolescent, so let's take number three. That was a quick turnaround from two to three. I came up in the middle of the pond as opposed to down there, so hopefully, the further I get to the top, the more bites there will be, but who knows. Here's a good one. Hopefully this camera still has some battery in it. Oh, wow. Didn't think they were in here, but here we are. Good size pickerel. And he ate this thing fucking whole, wow, that's a fucking big one actually, Jesus Christ. Let me 
just Think about the more fucking rod in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You relax. You take a breather. I'll be right with you. Wow, he is good size though, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Good thing I stopped too, I was gonna go all the way up there and I was like, let me just pull up right here, see if there's anything in the water. And sure enough, this guy fucking takes the cake. He does not want my finger in his mouth. Not one bit. God damn. Oh, he is actually a good size. Alright. Wow, he can just thrash my fucking thumb out of his mouth and I'm like holding on tight too. Oh no, I don't wanna lose him. Fuck having six hooks though, that's for sure. No, no, you relax. Come here. Open. Oh shit, I just got soaked by this fucker. He is pissed off. Alright. Oh, and he hooked himself back up here too, nice. suck. Oh my god, what the fuck. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Oh, there we go. Alright. I want to take a picture of him. Because he is a rather large fish. Oh, my phone's right here. Let's get him some air first. Set up my phone for him. Right. Oh shit, alright, yeah, you're good. That's one big boy right there. It's another one of those pickle one I sent you a picture of. <laughs> oh, he fell off. This guy hit really close to the boat. So six total for the day, it's not too bad, a new spot. Yeah. Plus with conversation and really doesn't help but What? There's a walker right here. A walker? Yeah. What do you mean? No, there's someone like Oh, okay. I thought you meant like one of the like, wheelchair things that like old people use. Not wheelchair things, but like an actual like walker to like a like a double cane. But yeah, I see him now. Yeah, all in all, productive days, fucking nice out, so, till next time.